cards. I'm uh, doing a video today to show you how to make these carnations and also you can use a carnation and a bookmark. You could use it for packages, for um, a box, a gift bag. Very, very versatile. Also in the process of doing this tutorial, you'll also learn the technique of faux suede and um, this is what gives some texture to our carnation. Your carnation can be as many layers as you want. We're actually going to be using six layers for um, this carnation. To do that, we're going to punch out three one and three quarter inch circles. I use the stamping up paper punch that's one and three quarter inch. When you get your circle, I've done it in very vanilla cardstock. Just fold. We're going to break the fibers in the paper. So there's not a right or wrong way. Just keep folding until you soften up the paper. Try to fold it as tight as you can get it. And then undo. Sometimes just crumpling it. Like again, we're, all we're doing is we're breaking up the fibers. And you're going to be doing it on three sheets of paper, three of your circles. Once you're done breaking the fibers, you're going to take your bone folder and similar to how you do curling ribbon you're going to put the bone folder underneath the circle with your thumb here applying a little bit of pressure and pull turn the circle do it again until you get it all four you know completely around the circle flip your circle over do the same thing again this is one way to break up the fibers make your paper more pliable. Once you've done that, then you're going to gently take your paper and it will separate. Now if it's not going to separate for you, just uh, fold it a little bit more. Get the fibers a little more broken. Also this helps to have nails <laughs> and um, takes a little bit of patience. Okay. Now it's starting to come apart. As it comes apart, just very, very gently pull it. I try to work around rather than pulling straight across. I pull and then I move, I pull, I move the circle, I pull, I move the circle. Now don't worry if you have paper rip. It's not a big deal. The paper's very inexpensive. Just get another circle. And pull. You'll be amazed. It has this really neat texture to it. And if you rub your hand or your finger across it, it feels just like suede does. So this is the faux suede. So if you were going to be doing a square, an accent piece on a card, a, a scrapbook page, and you wanted um, a suede look, this would be a great way to do it. Our regular cardstock is a little easier to work with because it is um, a denser, thicker cardstock, although the designer series paper will also work. So that gives us two layers of our flower. I'm going to set these aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the mat pack that we sell. It's a solid piece, a piece of foam, and then also there's a template for paper piercing on top. We're going to take six layers of our circles and I'm going to stack them here in the middle. They don't have to be exactly matched but as close as possible. Again you want the faux suede side up. Once you have them set up then take your paper piercer and pierce right in the middle. And because we've got this firm piece underneath, there's no chance it's going to go through to your table. So that firm piece is very important in the mat pack. I then took one of our daisy brads. I like it because it's a little bit bigger. The tiny brads are a little bit too tiny. So this size may be a little smaller. Then you're going to put it right in the middle, 
lift up from the bottom and then open up the brad and there we have the start of our flower. I'm going to work with it now in the black. I think it's going to be a little easier for you to see. What you're going to do is bring up one layer at a time and crimp over and crimp. Now you can do it with the um, paper stain in the same way or you can rotate your flower if it's easier to work with. As you finish a layer, crimp it together then go on to the next one, same thing. Try to do them as tight as you can. The further down in the layer you get, um, your layers, it is going to be harder to crimp. That's not unusual, don't be concerned. The more layers you have, the um, denser your, your flower will be. And we're just going to, again, push it together. At this point we want it tight like a rosebud would be. Okay, next layer. We're going to do this until we've completely finished the um, six layers that we have. Again, if you want a much denser carnation, you can do more layers. That's not a, not a problem. It's a personal choice. So whatever works you know, best for you, the look you like the best. Okay, and here's our last layer. Okay. Now it's all done. We're going to take our fingers and just gently pull it apart. If it comes, if it's too loose, bring it back and then start over with how you're pulling it. Also, you can end up going back in and just recrimping if you want it tighter. And then pull apart, pull apart. It's a really pretty, pretty flower. Now you could leave it plain like this. It looks beautiful. It looks like an open rose this way. But I kind of like the look of the carnation. So what I've done is I've used the Stamp and Write marker. It has a fine point, which is for writing and it has a brush point which is a wider tip. I'm going to use the brush point. Now this one is a rich razzleberry which is one of our in colors. We also have it in the six in colors as well as 48 standard colors plus um, I believe it's six neutrals. Um, again this is rich razzleberry. And I'm just going to go through and go right here on the edge, put it down in it will bleed some and that's what we want. We want it to look you know like it's picked up water and and colored in the carnation. And again it's totally a personal look how much or how little you want to do. I love the way it it looks. Now when you're done uh, with it, if you want it, I'm not going to do it myself, but if you wanted, you could spray it with some water, just gently mist actually, and that will um, cause the marker to bleed. I hope you can see this. And with it bleeding, it'll the color will go down in a little bit more. But I think just doing this with the marker really does a really nice job and by not putting water on the flower I also don't have to worry as much about getting um, ink all over my hands. Now if you get the Stampin' Write ink on you just if you immediately go in and wash with soap and water it'll come off um, otherwise a little stamping mist will do the job and there's our completed carnation. Quick, easy, beautiful. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. There'll be more in the future. Thank you. Just wanted to show you a close-up of three of the ones that I completed.